guys, it's Carol. How are ya? Good morning, beautiful people. <laughs> it is such a gorgeous day here in Texas. Uh, not a cloud in the sky, just beautiful, be beautiful blue. Right now, I don't even know what time it is, like 9 o'clock, and it's 64 degrees, but we're going to get up to 92 for the high. I want to wear my new autumn shirts, you know, that I bought, <laughs> but they're long sleeve. <laughs> I couldn't stand them on 90 degree days. Uh, I just checked the 10 day forecast. Through Saturday, we're going to be in the 90s. For the rest of the 10 day forecast, we're going to be in the high 80s. We're in the last half of September, people. <laughs> I'm ready for some cooler weather, <laughs> you know. If you go to a, foot, a high school football game in September, you know, it's nice to take a blanket to wrap up in. Not not this time. <laughs> uh, I have, the, oh, I'm, I'm rambling, sorry. This video is to share something important for my uh, subs, for you guys watching me, but really important for the subs that also make videos. Now I'm going to tell you about a channel. He does not need a shout out from me. <laughs> uh, this man is amazing. He's had a channel since June 2nd, June, July, August, September, three and a half months. His first check from YouTube is going to be over $1,200. Now, for the most of us that I, of people I watch, at three months, we were not monetized. He had a video that went viral. It has, let me get, check my notes. Uh, 803,000 views. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine 803,000 views? His first video, his introductory video, has over 12,000. <laughs> His name is Tim. He has a wonderful voice. Very soothing. I love to listen to him. Very intelligent. Obviously very intelligent and well educated. Seems to be just like such a nice man. Just a nice human being. But very intelligent and his videos are great. His videos are obviously well thought out. Not like me where I get on here and I'm just ramble. Um, I want you to go over and watch him just to hear his voice. It's so soothing. <laughs> but anyway, what is important that I want to share with you today is my arm's getting tired. I'm outside and I don't have the tripod. <laughs> but I had to be outside and get my vitamin D. It's such a gorgeous day. And I should be inside doing a multitude of things. Uh, like my grandkids are going to be here in a little bit. And I don't have the green chili stew in the crock pot like I said we were having for lunch. But anyway, I digress. Back to what I was trying to tell you. His channel name is The New Retired Me. Had it for three and a half months. First YouTube check's going to be over $1,200. <laughs> we can learn from this man, guys. <laughs> uh, right now he has 41,000 subs. I'm delighted after four years to have over 2,000. <laughs> but anyway, what he has to say that is important to you, my other watchers that also create videos and please for my subs pay attention here if you want to help us he says that he will not ask his subs to watch his videos I mean 
Oh, Lord. Yes, he wants you to watch his videos. He doesn't want you to watch his ads. Carol, get a grip. He does not tell people to watch his ads. He asks for three things. And these affect the YouTube algorithm, which I have never understood. And he, he explains it really well in a couple of videos. So you guys go over and binge watch him. You're going to learn a lot. But anyway, in the video uh, I'm talking about, I'll put a picture of it in here so you get the title of the video. His channel name is The New Retired Me. His name is Tim. And at the 5.55 mark in this video, he explains the three important things. Okay. The three things that are important for you as subs and especially you, for you as creators to know about the algorithm is that three things, and they don't cost you a dime, they cost you seconds of your time. Let the video play all the way through. He pointed out how many of his videos um, people only watch like the first portion of. He, he was showing screenshots from his computer screen. You know, I do everything on my phone and I don't have access to the same information on my cell phone. But I do have a little notebook and I'm going to get it charged up and see what all I can see on that on YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is a page for creators where it gives you information about your channel. That's what I've shown you screenshots of, where I, I showed you I'm going to make $83 for the last 28 days, and dang, I'm excited about $83. That's almost my electric bill, honey. <laughs> um, anyway, he says, if people will just let your video play all the way through, that tells YouTube something. <laughs> I didn't take good enough notes to tell you what. Um, letting it play the entire way is important because so many people just watch a few minutes. And I'm surprised at that on his videos, anyway. Um, the next thing is click like. Now, now, people, clicking the like, the thumbs up, doesn't cost you a penny. It cost you a fraction of a second of your time. It helps us immensely. And my subs are good about it. Typically, on average, one-fourth of my watchers give me a thumbs up. That, that's pretty much across the board how it goes. A fourth of you give me a thumbs up, and I appreciate every single one of you. As for me, because I do know that is important, when I watch any video... I give them the benefit of the doubt, and before I start the video, I click the thumbs up. I guess if I don't like the video, I could go back and unclick it. I, I never have done that, I don't think. Yes, I have. I have. But anyway, for me, when I want to watch a video, I click the thumbs up before I ever start watching the video because... Typically, it's somebody I'm sub to, and I know, you know, basically what their videos are like, and I know I will like them. So I just click that before I even watch it. That, the number of thumbs up you get, tells the YouTube algorithm that, hey, we like this. Maybe YouTube should share this for other people to see. So, please, if you like my videos, if you think they're worthwhile, if you think there is one other person on earth who might want to see one of my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Um, the next thing is leave a comment. Now, I ask you in every video, almost, to please leave me a comment because I want to hear from you. And I mean that you know if you've been with me very long, the whole reason I set up this YouTube channel is because I, I, I suffer with mental illness and anxiety and I'm just a basket case. 
And a therapist told me I needed socialization. And so we came up a way I could have some socialization without actually having to interact with and be in a group of people. It's being in a group of people that bothers me. <laughs> when I was in the mental hospital, I remember the psychiatrist there asked, telling him I don't like to be in a group of people. And he asked me how large was a group. And I told him two. And I meant it. And he knew I meant it. And he wrote it down. And he didn't question me. He knew I meant I was serious. I, I, I don't like to be outnumbered. <laughs> Which is crazy because in my former life, I was very gregarious and I was outgoing and I did programs for my job where I went out and talked to large groups of, of kids. <laughs> the most intimidating people in the world are kids. They tell it like it is. You know, I used to go out and present programs for auditoriums of people. I used to give workshops on how to do story times to groups of adults. I used to uh, teach classes at church. I used to speak in church. Actually, I really enjoyed speaking from the pulpit. <laughs> that was before my great big horrible, no good, very bad breakdown. Now, no, no, I don't want to do any of that. But anyway, I ask you to leave me a comment because I want to hear from you. I need that engagement. I need that socialization. And I have made such wonderful friends. There are those of you that I just care so deeply about and feel like you're almost like family. And the way I get to that point is because you leave comments and we can talk back and forth. Oh, here comes somebody. I'm going to stop this. You guys know I live in an apartment complex and a car pulled up. Um, it's the lady. There's a lady up on one of the floors above me that has a little girl who's about four. And my dogs bark at everybody. Why they want to bark at that precious little girl, I don't know. But anyway, we had to come in. Anyway, I ask you to leave me comments because I want that interaction with you. I want to get to know you, and I enjoy it so much. He points out that if people leave comments, that tells YouTube there's some engagement and this channel has some value. I can't explain it like he did. Please go over to Tim's channel. If nothing else, start at the 5.55 mark. And he explains all this eloquently, thoroughly, and pointed out things I didn't even know. I, I'm just plain vanilla grandma. Just decided to start a channel so I could have some socialization. <laughs> I know nothing about the algorithm. Um, and, and honestly, the focus of me having this channel is not to see how many subs I could get. It was to have interaction with some subs that would leave me comments and be my friend and give me some socialization. So I just, I've I, honestly, I've only watched a couple of Tim's videos. I subbed to him back, I think, when he did his first video. It's been a while. He's only had the channel three and a half months. But, you know, this whole summer I've been on this mental health, depression hell hole, just struggling because we changed my medication and it has not been a good time for me. And I haven't watched a lot of videos of people I'm subbed to that I really like the people. I, I, I just, I haven't been in a good place this summer. But I am, one sub pointed out that I seem more upbeat, I think is what she said. Yes, I am doing better. I think the medicine is finally soaking into my brain and the chemicals are getting straightened out a little bit. I do feel really good. I, I'm incredibly sad over the loss of my brother-in-law. And I'm surprised that, that it hit me so hard because... Like a year and a half ago, he, he had cancer, 
he was given six months to live about over a year and a half ago, about, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, he was given six months to live and he lived like a year longer. So we all knew his passing was coming. We all knew that. And we all expected it. But when he actually did pass, it, it stirred up some things. I would love to go to the funeral. I cannot go. Um, and I'm going to explain that in another video because other people ask me, why don't you volunteer? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? I'll explain that. But anyway, uh, when Casey told me that her dad's brother died, it hit me harder than I expected it to because I knew he was passing. I knew he was on hospice. You know, when you go on hospice, you know what's happening. This man and his wife, I met them when I was 15. And I'm going to be 70 in January. So they've been a part of my life for a long time. For the years I was married, for the 19 years I was married, they were very involved in my life. Um, my sister-in-law was in the delivery room with me when my fourth child was born because my husband was not there. So my sister-in-law was with me in the delivery room. I... I went through a lot of life events with this couple. The first time I ever went bowling was with them. That's the first thing I was thinking about them in my life. I grew up in this little town that at <laughs> that time didn't have a bowling alley, didn't have a pizza parlor. I had never had pizza, didn't have a McDonald's. I grew up in a little bitty town that had nothing. <laughs> and... Um, my sister, sister-in-law bought me my first Big Mac. I, I was not impressed with it. I love them now. But anyway, I remember her buying me my first Big Mac when they first, I think they first came out that year. The first time I ever went bowling was with them. And they laughed at me because I was so stiff. <laughs> they told me, you got to bend. <laughs> the first time I did a lot of things was with these people. They were a big influence on me when I was first married at 18 and um, starting my adult life. I was 18 going on 12, honestly. Um, <laughs> I had a lot of fun with them. I loved to play cards. They were the first people I ever played card games with. They taught me how to play canasta, and I loved it. Um, I loved playing cards. Just when he, when I knew he had passed, there were just a lot of things flooding back to me about things I experienced with them. And he's gone now, and I hadn't seen him in a dozen years, probably. I had heard about him because my, you know, my kids would tell me what's going on with the family and things, but, and I know where he is. He was, he was a Christian all his life, taught Sunday school forever and a day, was, if it was Sunday, they were at church, you know, I, I know he's in a good place. He's, and he loves to sing, and I know he's singing in a heavenly choir. <laughs> I mean, I know it's all good for him right now. He's no longer in pain and, you know, all that stuff. But it was just, I was surprised at how it hit me. I knew it was coming. And then it came, and I was like, he passed away. <laughs> um, I feel really sorry for my, uh, I still call her my sister-in-law. I'm, I'm, she was my ex-husband's. He, the man that passed away was my ex-husband's brother, and she was his, the brother's wife. I still call her my sister-in-law. Um, I, I feel terrible for her. They were married for 54 years. I, I, I can't imagine being with somebody every day for 54 years. 
and then then suddenly they're gone. Um, I'm going to stop now. But anyway, that's the importance of giving us a thumbs up letting our videos play all the way through. And and this gentleman says, if he's watching a video and he's not really interested in it, he may go get a cup of coffee, go may, may go check the mail, may go make his bed, but just let it run through as a courtesy to that person. Uh, that's, that's wonderful. Um, but anyway, it's important that you give us a thumbs up. It's important that you let the video play through, and it's important that you leave a comment. I have um, a lady, hi Sophia, who lives in the Netherlands that gives me a, a, the, the little thumbs up icon thing in a comment. That is good enough. That is good enough. I have another friend, hi Shay, that leaves a heart in the comment. That's good enough. But I really like it if you leave me a message. So it's like, it's kind of like, you know, I have, I'm hearing impaired and I don't talk on the cell phone very often at all because I can't hear the other person almost 99% of the time. So when you leave me a comment, it's just the same as me texting my sister, me getting a text from my sister. You know, she, that's how we communicate. So when you leave me a comment, it's like you're texting with me. You're, it's like, it's like we have a relationship. So please leave me a comment. <laughs> Tell me what's going on in your world and YouTube will like it. <laughs> I'm going to go. I've got a million things I should be doing. Go over and watch Tim's channel. If nothing else, just to listen to his voice. He is in a, it's just an exceptional channel. Y'all go watch. Okay. Bye.